cold outside, it's about 20 degrees. So I always start with a base layer icebreaker, New Zealand wool, uh, wigwam socks. I bought these quite a long time ago. It was their, their thickest sock and I bought like 24 pair, which is nice. So I, I just have the same, only one sock. Uh, fleece vest, when it's really cold, it gets down below freezing. I usually put a vest on underneath that really keeps your core temperature up. Icebreaker wool shirt. These are my favorites. I like them better than Pendleton because they're softer and they have a, they fit my body better. Longer arms, not so big in the body, not so bulky. Red handkerchief today, wallet. I've misplaced, again, my 940. I haven't seen it for about two weeks. I think it might be in one of the bags I packed when we went to um, Idaho. Uh, it'll turn up. It always does. Uh, but I have been using this, and I do. It is a wonderful knife. I really have been enjoying it. It's such it's so, it's such a good cutter. Uh, not as durable, a little bit more fragile and dainty, but it's a great knife. It definitely gives me the fizz. It's, I still love it as much as the first time I, I bought it. Boy, the old Forest Service Riggers belt. Man, this thing is worn like iron. It's getting a little bit thin and frayed. But not bad. It just looks a little bit, you know, weather beaten. Brian just ordered, uh, you can still get these. I think they're on Etsy. The guy's still building them. And he had a tan one. So I think I'm going to order a black one and a tan one. And they just wear like iron. And this buckle is steel. It's got the NSN number on there. So that's kind of cool. Rated. The stitching's not rated, but the buckle is. Uh, my new EDC flashlight, I went from that, um, the LX, was it LX2 uh, to this one? So much better. A better switch, better interface, a better size, and really durable. Now, you know I'm not a, all about the clips, but it is so handy because of the pocket that I, the way the pocket is on the Patagonia pants that I wear, it fits nicely up forward, kind of on your hip. Uh, so when you sit down, you don't sit on it. And it just makes it handy for grabbing. So hopefully I won't uh, regret that. I like the modes. It's a 1CR123 battery. It doesn't last very long on high. If you use high all the time, you'll change it often. But it has just a simple, you click it a second time, just a small, you know, just what what a flashlight used to be. And it lasts forever. And nice thing about it is you have, you have to get up in the middle of the night. You're not going to wake up your wife or disturb anyone with, with that intensity. I mean, it's there if you need it, but just click it again. and It's intermittent or constant on, which is really a nice to have constant on. That LX2, you had to rotate the tail cap, and that was a super bummer because it took two hands. This is a far superior light. Uh, keep my media uh, cards in there. It's just uh, like it's an otter pe pellet, waterproof, crush-proof case. My holster, this was made for me by one of my subscribers back in the day, and it's the best holster I've ever used. It, it's just been my my main carry holster for, I don't know, a long time, about 10 years. I've replaced the screws because they've fallen out. A lot of wear on this, but it holds tight to the body, and it holds everything that I own. You know, my 19X, my 19s, uh, 21s, 26, they all fit in there. Just one holster. It's so nice. And this is my carry now. Uh, my favorite I've ever bought. The peanut butter. Very confident, inspiring. Very nice to get that full grip handle. You can always get a hold of it in that cat's paw. That's my first Gen 4 and or newer cat's paw. I like that. It's better than the Gen 3s. This is a horizontal carry, which is nice because uh, it doesn't stab you when you sit down. This was made for me by one of my subscribers. I think the same guy that built my holster built this. I got, I had a tab down here for adjusting and it was jabbing me and I got carried away and cut it too far and that bummed me out. But it hasn't, still works. But this is a good way and this will receive you know, every magazine as well. You know, from the short stubbies to the, to the long ones. And it's, it carries really well uh, just to the left of your belt buckle up front. Watch today. Seiko Tuna. Mrs. W bought this for me for Christmas years ago. I really like it. It's a tough, probably about the toughest watch you can get. It's got that steel outer shroud and very interesting heritage of these. If you want to watch some interesting videos, go look at the making of the 
Virgil Seiko Tunis and how they were tasked to build a dive watch that wasn't affected by buildup of nitrogen. You know, them and Rolex, you know, worked on that. And it's quite an incredible technology. It was a problem for deep sea divers. Uh, there just wasn't any instrument that could survive it. And this, this is a, came out of that heritage. You know, this is a newer model, but still shares all that. A black NATO strap. Yeah, I guess that's it. That's my EDC for February 2022.